Hey there, Starly from taleofpainters.com here and in this video I would like to unbox a few of the models from Legions Imperialis and compare them with the scale of the classic Epic 40,000 models from the 90s. Here you can see a squad of Space Marine Legionaries and Solar Auxilia on the new round bases. Between them is a stand with old Epic models. These are plastic marines from the Epic 40k era in 6mm scale. The little marine sculpts are actually identical to the Space Marine infantry from the previous Epic editions. They just changed the shape of the base for Epic 40,000. By the way, the new Legion's Imperialis models all have small modeled rocks between the legs, which are used to glue the models onto the new sculpted bases, so no round slots like the old Epic 40k bases had. The diameter of the new bases is 25mm and the height is just 2mm, so much slimmer than a regular 25mm base. The bases for the Warhound Titans have a diameter of 80mm. Here you can see a base of the new Space Marine Legionaries next to one of the new Horus Heresy Mark VI Space Marines. According to Games Workshop, Legion's Imperialis models are exactly a quarter of the Big Brothers, so the scale is 1 to 4 compared to the main range. And here we have a base of Cataphracti Terminators from Legions Imperialis, next to a base of Epic 40,000 Terminators in the Tartarus Terminator from the Horus Heresy. Let's take a look at the tanks next. Here you can see a classic Epic 40,000 Rhino, then a Dimos Predator from Legions Imperialis, a Metal Razorback from the Epic 40,000 era, then a new Lehman Russ as well as a Sikoran, and next to it a Mark IIb Land Raider from 1997. As you can see, the difference is even more significant than with the infantry. Unfortunately, I don't have any other Epic Scale Imperial Guard models to hand, but on Warhammer Community I found this comparison of all the new Lehman Rust tanks. Games Workshop also posted a comparison with the new Solar Auxilia Baneblade, which will be released separately. The biggest size difference to old Epic is, of course, with the Titans, which are all taken from the Adeptus Titanicus game, as it's the same scale as Legions Imperialis and Aeronautica Imperialis. Here you can see the old and new Warhound Scout Titan, Reaver Titans from 1989, 2003 and the modern Adeptus Satanicus version and the epic Lucius Pattern Warlord Titan from 1997 and its modern version, almost double its size. Finally, the question remains as to the scale of the new Legion's Imperialis models. Is it 6mm, 8mm or something else entirely? Before I answer that question, I would kindly ask you to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel, so I know you want me to make more scale comparison videos like this. You can also support me on Patreon, where I have lots of exclusive masterclass tutorials and hand-painted comparison charts to download. Thanks a lot and now the old Epic models are said to have a scale of 6mm, which is pretty much the size of a single Space Marine sculpt. However, Games Workshop itself says that the scale was inconsistent at the time. The new Legion's Imperialis Marines have a height of about 9mm and the Solar Auxilia Infantry have a height of 8mm. As the new vehicles are almost double the size of the old versions, I would say the new Epic scale is leaning more towards 10mm. Let me know in the comments which scale you prefer, old or new Epic scale. And if the Legion's Imperialis Marine sculpts are based on the bigger brass from the Horus Heresy, then how big are the Plastic Mark VI Marines? I answer this question in the video here on the right, where I compare the current Heresy Marines to a variety of Space Marine models back to 2nd edition, so go watch this next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, happy hobbying!